Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 on the Corky's World Channel. I'm Corky, as always, and uh, we're back, guys. Uh, I really only filmed two episodes of this, which is uh, the first time I did a recording session with this, which is so, it's so bizarre to do that. I usually try to film at least five, because then it makes it worth it, me making the thumbnail, you know... This this isn't supposed to be a one off, so that's like that's a whole other thing entirely. But uh, we're black, we're uh, we're back, and uh, in case you forgot, in case I'm not airing these in any coherent cohesion, uh, cohesive coherent order, the last thing that happened was Ron's older brother's wedding got like basically stormtroopered by the Death Eaters, and we uh, apparated out of there, and now we're in London. And uh, we just got the cloak. Who do you think looks suspicious? I don't know. What about that bloke with the newspapers? He looks a bit shifty. So now we're gonna. All right. Death Eaters could be anywhere. Take Rod's advice and check out the newspaper seller. So now it just turned into a first-person thing. What newspaper seller? And it looks like I only have a limited amount of time. Been discovered. Try again. Dude, what? <laughs> you think everyone's alright? The wedding? Most of the order was there. They'll look after everyone. Do you really think there could be Death Eaters here? Best to be sure. Isn't it? Alright, so, uh. So let's, let's give this another go. Oh, wait. How do I. There we go. I was like, what was the thing? I had to do to. Okay, so I think that triangle down below is my, like, someone noticing me. So is that what you really think? when you stand still, the triangle refills a bit, and the triangle is the symbol for the Deathly Hollows, which so many people, so many Harry Potter fans, like went out and got that symbol because it's cheap and easy, and like, oh, I'm a Harry Potter fan. And I'm not saying don't get that symbol. Like, if if you really feel that strongly about the Deathly Hollows and all they mean, then uh, then go for it. Go get the Deathly Hollow symbol. But there are so many other symbols in Harry Potter that you could get to show you're a fan. Get this a show. He's not a Death Eater. Quietly sneak back to Ron. So keen myself. Well, I'll have some. This first person mode's kind of weird. Stand still, let it refill a bit. The newspaper seller is not a death eater, he's a muggle. I'm so sorry. Next time, why don't you pack your own jeans? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that wasn't good at divination. It doesn't take divination. It's about planning. We'll need to plan if we're to get through this. The newspaper salesman is a muggle. Yeah, well, we can't be too careful. What about that woman over there? Did you check her out? Sneak over to the woman with the sign to check to see if she's a Death Eater. So that's that's what this that's what this part of the game is. We're just doing put on the cloak and spoopy scary sneak around. It's basically just move around and then stop and then move around and then stop. Oh, 
yeah, move around and then stop. And move around and stop. Anyways, guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what you're up to. Let me know what you think about the Harry Potter movie, book, video game, whatever. And then I'll sit to him. But a bow. Oh, why, why, why? She's not a dead. All right, back to Ron. Dude. Dude, what? <laughs> what happened? She just like blindsided me? Dude, quit playing. Yeah, all right, got it. So now we gotta go all the way back. God, this level sucks. Like, at least I don't have to start from zero. That's cool. But the fact that they just, like, some lady just blindsided me out of nowhere. I just want to get it all over. The Big Bean, Tex-Mex, all the beans you can eat, student discount available. Alright. Uh, if the camera's making anyone at home feel uneasy, it's also making me feel uneasy, so... Okay, I'm here. Okay, well, let's do her sing again. And then we're gonna carefully... Sneak back. There she was, that's who hit me. You... Ooh. That person just glitched. Aw, oh, crap. Okay. Good. Yeah. So close. Did I go the wrong way? Aw, oh, dude. Damn it, I went down the wrong street. This game is bullshit. It's funny because I was like... Do I want to start playing Dishonored? Because Dishonored 2 is about to come out, so I was going to do a video on that. You think Harry's still got the trace on him? Maybe that's how the Death Eaters keep finding us. The trace breaks when he turns 17. And Harry's not been near any Death Eaters for them to try and put it back on. Well, something's giving away where we are. The woman with the sign is a Michael too. Looks like we've lost those Death Eaters then. Okay. So that's all I had to do was two of them? Alright. Now we're just going to the cafe. Yeah, like sneaking around looking for Death Eaters, but it's cool to just wave my wand all around. Willy nilly. Where? Are we there? Oh, here it is. Hey, cutscene! So, where do we go from here? The Leaky Cauldron? Too dangerous. If Voldemort's taken over the Ministry, none of the old places are safe. Let's sit over there. We can work the, uh, the Deathly Hollow movies are probably the ones I remember least. Like, as far as, like, what happens and who was in them and who died and all that stuff. I do remember, though, that they were, like, very gritty and dark. Uh-oh. It's on. Uh, how do you how do you corner again? There we go. Let's 
Alright, there's one now. Boosh! Bleep bloop! Defeated a hundred enemies. Already? Dang. So that's my spell wheel. This is the dumbest game ever. Like, this is... Movie games, and I've said it before, and I'll continue to say it, movie tie-in games and TV tie-in games generally aren't the highest quality ever, but this is very obviously like, ah, we're just gonna make a quick buck and whip your wand around and we'll use Connect, because that's the thing. Two bleep bloops. Uh, okay, guys, so that wraps up this episode. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, I will pick it. Pick it right back up here. Nope, that doesn't even stop the cutscene. All right, guys, so uh, I'll pick it up here in the next episode. As always, remember, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode. Later days, guys.